hi guys welcome back to my channel so in my previous video i have completely covered all about predicate argument structure so let's see what we will discuss in this particular video first so we are going to cover all the things about meaning representations like resources and what are all the softwares of meaning representations okay so before getting started with this video if you are new to this channel then please do consider subscribing and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch whole video and then don't forget to like share and at last don't forget to comment so now let's get started okay now let's see some points about meaning representation so before discussing this points i would like to say one thing that i have discussed about meaning representation in brief in my previous videos if you haven't watched it then please do watch that video and come back to this video then then only you can understand what i am saying okay so i'm not going to read all these points okay so let me explain you without reading these points so that the video length will be also decreased okay so uh, let's understand about a programming language how it is gonna compile whenever you write a certain program in a compiler okay see you write a program in a compiler see whatever language it might be it might be python java or anything so let's take python so you write some program in it the computer or that particular system will not understand what the program you are writing so what it does it it will convert that particular program into machine understandable language and then it will execute that particular program after con converting into the machine uh, readable language then it will execute that pr particular program and whatever the output we are getting that is again converted into human readable format so this is what it is happening here so the same goes with meaning representation also so we will be writing some text so that text is not understandable by that particular machine or the system so what it will do it will convert that particular text into machine readable format and then it will understand it after understanding whatever the operations it can do like text generation text translation and whatever the operations it wanted to do it can do after converting this particular text into machine readable format okay so i have said that in in which way if you write this particular text that machine can understand that i have explained you in my previous video of meaning representation so if you haven't watched then please do watch that video okay let's see this point now see researchers have working on many methods so, so that machine can understand they are uh, developing many methods where the machine can understand that particular natural language though some methods are specific to certain domains only so that particular methods are only applicable for certain domains and they are not applicable for all the domains okay so these might these problems might occur and that so still they are working on it and in future maybe we will get uh, a certain techniques where it is not specific to that domain uh, each and every domain it is going to work so you are getting in future okay so now let's talk about the resources so we are discussing four resources here so what are the systems that utilize this particular meaning representations those resources we are going to discuss now let's see about atis so what atis stands for a travel information system so let's see what it means the atis project was one of the first major efforts to develop systems that convert natural language into a form usable by applications for decision making specifically it focused on transforming user queries about flight information into sql queries to extract answers from the flight database see what the main what is the main use of this particular ati system is see let's see there is a database about the flight information this is the database about flight info so the user can't directly uh, interact with this database and uh, get the information from this database right there is some certain language where you will be interacting with that database that language is nothing but sql language okay so there is a user here there is ati system here okay what this user will do is it will he will ask some query like when uh, the flights are available at what time this particular flight is available so i will ask the atis system so what the ATIS system will do is it will 
convert this particular query whatever the user has asked into an SQL query and by writing this query only that particular system gonna retrieve the data from this particular database that is flight information database so you can see here that uh, I have listed out the points how it is gonna work in a user would ask a question in natural speech using a restricted vocabulary so I've said that user will be asking some question related to the flight information to this particular ATIS system then what is what that particular ATI system going to do? The system would convert this query into hierarchical frame representation encoding the essential semantic information. So what this ATI system going to do is it will convert the user query into a frame representation. That is nothing but a predicate argument structure, right? So th there he will be specifying that certain action and what are the roles involved in that particular action. After converting into the frame what it is gonna do is this representation was then compiled into SQL query to retrieve the required data from the database so after the user asked the query to the ATI system it will convert into the frame and this frame is converted into an SQL query so after converting it into an SQL query thereby it is gonna retrieve that particular information from this particular database so this is how it is going to work okay so uh, let's see uh, some more information about the ATIS so it is gonna uh, include 7300 spoken utterances I mean this particular ATIS system can understand about 7300 languages okay so in that 2900 languages are categorized and annotated and around 600 were tree banked I mean uh, the syntactic details are uh, written in that particular tree bank, right? So, this is how the ATR system is going to use this particular meaning representation in, on, in order to understand the query from the user. Okay, so now let's see the next resource that is communicator. Again, I am not going to discuss all these points. I mean, read, read out all these points. Let's Let's discuss directly, okay? See, what is the difference between this particular communicator and ATIS system is in ATIS system, usually the user is going to speak something to that system and that system is going to give the answer in the form of written written format. But in case of a commu communicator, both will participate in the communication. I mean, both the system and the user will participate in the conversation. The user is going to ask some certain query in the form of speech and the system will return uh, answer to that particular query in the form of speech only. Okay. So now let's see about the third resource that is GeoQuery. So GeoQuery is a natural language interface designed to interact with a geographical database called GeoBase. GeoBase contains about 800 prologue facts which store geographical information such as populations, neighboring states, major rivers and major cities in a relational database. Again the same it is just like an ATIS system only but instead of the flight information here we are going to use a certain database that is geographical database we are going to use. So the same process how the ATIS work the same uh, is followed by this geo query also but instead of using the flight information it is going to use this geographical database in order to answer the queries given by the user so this geo base contains about 800 prologue facts so what are these facts those are nothing but the information about the population or it might be information about the neighboring states or it might be information about major rivers or major cities like this it is going to have about 800 prologue facts okay L let's understand this by example suppose i am a user i am going to ask this certain system like what are the neighboring states of telangana i ask like that. so what it is going to return so it is going to return the neighboring the list of neighboring states of telangana so this is how the geo query works so the last resource that is robocup so i will discuss what is meant by c lab later so what is this robocup robocup is an international competition where teams of robots play soccer 
and it's organized by artificial intelligence community the goal is to advance ai and robotics research to this challenging and fun domain see what is meant by robocup is see there is a international competition between the robots so that robots are playing a game called soccer soccer is nothing but football and why they are uh, making the robots play this soccer is in order to advance that particular ai and in order to research more in robotics they are doing this so in order to program that certain robots they are going to use this particular language that is nothing but a c line okay so this is about the resources now let's see what are all the different softwares used in meaning representation these are the softwares that we are going to use for meaning representation so the first one is wasp and the other is crispr and the third is chill see we just remember these names there is no need of understanding what this wasp software is what this crispr software is what this chill software is you just remember the names if they are asking about meaning representation that's right what is mean by meaning representation and write few examples of it and later write about the resources and at the last you write about i mean write list out the what are all the software is used for meaning representation that's it okay so this is about meaning representation this completes your fourth unit in nlp so before leaving just hit that particular like button and don't forget to comment and if you want to get the notes about this particular topic then please do join our telegram channel i will be posting the notes of fourth unit in that telegram channel okay so thank you thank you for watching